In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom inside DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. So I have a timeline open here, and today I'm gonna show you two ways on how you can use this zoom inside DaVinci Resolve. So the first one is by using the dynamic zoom. And how do you do that? First of all, make sure you have your clip selected, then you come to the inspector, and you scroll down until you see the dynamic zoom here. You activate it, and then let's see how it goes. And if you wanted to zoom out, you just have to open this and click on swap. And then let's see how it goes. And just a quick reminder, dynamic zoom will happen throughout the entire clip. And you can also mess around with the way the zoom happens. So if you see the mode here, by default, it happens in a linear way. But if you click on this arrow here, you can choose ease in, ease out and ease in and out. And what ease in does is it makes the beginning of the zoom a lot smoother. And ease out is the same, but at the end of the zoom. Ease in and out smooths the beginning and the end of the zoom. You can also click on this arrow here and then activate the dynamic zoom parameter to mess around with the rectangles. And what these rectangles do is they control where the zoom starts and where the zoom ends. So let's click on swap here to make a zoom in. And this green rectangle here is where the zoom will start. And this red one is where the zoom will end. And you can move the rectangles by messing around with these little dots on the corners, like this. Let's see how it goes. But if you want more control over the zooming, you can always choose to use the keyframes. And what are keyframes? Well, a keyframe is a point we choose in our clip where a specific effect will happen. So if you come to the zoom property in Transform Inside Inspector, you can scale it up or down as it suits you best. And to zoom in, all you have to do is choose a point in the clip, let's say here, and then activate this little diamond right here. This is the keyframe. And now this is the point where we establish the zoom will start. Now we go a little bit further and we don't even have to activate the keyframe again. All we have to do is drag this until we get where we want and the keyframe will appear automatically and it goes like this and you can jump around your keyframes by clicking on these arrows here if you click here you go to the last keyframe and if you click here you go to the previous one and you can also smooth out the beginning and ending of the zoom by clicking with the right button here and choosing ease out same thing on the last keyframe right click ease in and you can also mess around with the scale by making sure this parameter here is activated the transform now all you have to do is move around these little dots on the corners like this and if you want to disable the keyframe, all you have to do is click on the red diamond again, like this. And to zoom out, it's pretty much the same. You choose a spot on the clip, rescale it, activate the keyframe, go a little bit further ahead, and you zoom out. And then it goes like this. And that's how you zoom in and out inside the Venture Resolve. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what type of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn how to make a fly-through text effect in the Venture Resolve, make sure to check out this video showing you on your screen right now, and I'll see you there.